10th Annual Sharing Skills Building Opportunity Conference. My name is Roger Herzog, and I'm the Executive Director of CDAC. And on behalf of CDAC and the Commonwealth Workforce Coalition, I want to say how delighted we are to see so many of you here in Sturbridge this morning. Since 2001, CWC has built a network of over 6,500 workforce professionals and has established itself as the primary provider of workforce development training in the Commonwealth. Because the future of this economy in Massachusetts is about science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, hands-on practical application, it, a pathway to a job, connections between K-12, the vocational, and traditional high schools, that this partnership, this stackable credentials, which Secretary Goldstein mentioned, is actually happening now. I thought it was great. The approach is really good. Um, I try to use some of the things that they were talking about, the body language, listening, mm -hmm. kind of mimicking. And uh, I think the important thing to build rapport is uh, key. And also um, identify any of the barriers or obstacles and then try to help that person be comfortable I think meeting the person where they are is really important. Applying the employer's values to that employee's values. So that's the match made in heaven, like any great relationship. Through our work together, um, we have created a new Career Pathways Committee within the Mass Workforce Investment Board to build a statewide framework for regional strategic career pathways planning um, to show that we can best build regional capacity to leverage and coordinate our existing assets and resources within education, workforce organizations, and businesses. One of the things we're talking about is how people make decisions. And all the people that we're working with have issues that deal with money. They need more money, they need more security. But the problem is, just because we're teaching them about budgets and we're teaching them about credit and how to manage their money, it doesn't mean they're going to do it. Because emotionally, if we're spending our money in a way that meets our emotional needs, it doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be the most important way for us to really spend our money. Mm -hmm. So what happens in the moment is we make decisions based on, oh, this feels good, or I'm afraid, so I want to do this. Instead of, gee, I, I had some thoughts about what I wanted, and, mm -hmm. and I'm, going to, I'm not going to spend my money that way. Right. So it's really important for people to understand the emotions behind what they're doing and how they're getting their emotional needs mm -hmm. met. During lunch, there was a skit, um, like the Sally and Benny show. Hello, fellow workforce professionals. How are we all doing? Yeah. And I really related to Benny. Every day I'm hustling, hustling, hustling. <laughs> I'm always hustling oh, man. Because <laughs> I've been in career transition for going on two years now. Wow. And since 2007, I was laid off three times. And for the last two years, I've been like working multiple part-time jobs. I started my own company, JW Strategies. Mm -hmm. And really, um, getting myself out there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one person's expected to wear a lot of hats in today's job market, right? In today's uh, workshop here, hosted by CWC, has really re-energized me not nice. to give up hope and to be creative on how you look at work. Absolutely. Because the traditional way of looking for work doesn't work anymore. And, and through the work, through the different workshops I went to, I realized that there is work out there, but you have to think outside of the box mm. and how to reinvent yourself uh, to be successful in today's market.